Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to La Mulana 2. Legends are eternal. So, this time I'm going to keep trying to bust into a bit more of a... Um, that place. The Immortal Battlefield via... That other place, Icefire Treetop. Yeah, that's it. Alright, when last I left off. Alright, so. Icefire Treetop. Ratatosk, stealing my stuff. Alright, that's one day way to get into a chest, I suppose. I keep feeling like at the top of this treetop thing, there should be some secret rooms connecting the left and right sides. Alright, so here we go. Oof! No, alright. Going here is fine. Alright. Starting my timer. Oh, hey. Starting my timer. No, 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 no. No! Why? No, no, get, get off! Well, that was upsetting. My, entirely my fault, because I wanted to get onto that platform during its first trip here, and so got in a rush. But still, the exaggerated hit stun when you're in the water is kinda not good when you're being knocked in no into the same spot that your enemies are in. Alright, so making my way up here. Making my way up here. Ow. Ow. No! 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 Pretend that never happened. <sighs> so just making my way over the right side of Ice Fire Tree Top. I have such trouble with swimming. I just don't quite get the mechanics of swimming in this game, you know? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I keep forgetting to actually look and see what that ladder leads to, and it's actually kind of boring what it leads to. Alright, now resuming my... Uh, What? Okay. I was actually hoping that I would have a dace that I could put a weight on in order to remove that middle thing up there, blocking my way up to that left ladder. Okay. I mean, cash is nice, obviously. Ah, oh, if I hadn't spent that 50 gold on the, uh... Hold on. Hold on. What if... I'm trying to think outside the box here. What if I go in from over here? Ow. Like, like, get this. What if I try destroying that thing, that wall on the upper right? Like this. Okay, excellent. So, another lesson learned. Secret entrances can come in... Well, n yeah, secret entrances are like ladders... Secret entrances from the side are like ladders from below. Gotta be ready for them to be a thing that exists. Alright, now what's this gonna do for me? Uh, okay, so why do I want to be down here is the next question. I mean, all it does for me is get me uh, down here where I can fight a monkey. What value is there in fighting that monkey? Um, I had somehow hoped for more out of that, especially considering that I had to find a secret entrance to get into it. Okay. How do I open this treasure box? Why? Why is anything? Okay, so... I swear, I need like an anchor or something. Hey, I've got a boat, right? What if the people who made the boat, can make an anchor. Also, that's one of the most disappointing rewards I've gotten for breaking a sigil. So let's see, where were the boat makers? The Divine Fortress? Oh no, there is a bat. This game is filled with bats. Thanks to that sneeze. 
you might think that you saw them in previous videos, but that's because the previous videos have all been changed retroactively to have included bats. And I won't say that bats are the worst enemies ever, especially in this game, but still, that's like more in it. You know, sometimes I just gotta stop and appreciate the encounter design of this game, like... Seriously. Let's see, you have like six enemies on a single screen, and yet it's not overwhelming or anything. I'm right, sure the encounter design in this game is not perfect, but still, it's pretty good. Alright, you. I need an anchor for this boat. The ship reminded me. I have a useful item that's been left sitting here in my home. I made it so you can open the treasure chest. Gah ha 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 ha. Oh, you still need something? Then get out. Gah ha 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 ha. What treasure? What treasure chest? Where's your home? Get out! Just sitting there in my home. Okay. So, uh... I'm going to look up where the heck your home is. To find fortress. Which characters were you again? No. 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 The younger brother of the genius smithing duo. He appears to be slightly more reasonable than his brother but still has no interest outside making things. Alright. Not dependable. Fifth children. Where are the fifth children supposed to live? Let's see. Gate of the Dead. Now how do I get to the Gate of the Dead again? The Immortal Battlefield. So... I'm going to assume that their homes are in the Gate of the Dead? Alright, that's an enemy. Do I even have any notes on the Gate of the Dead? I don't have a map, so I'd be surprised if I did. Alright, not that treasure chest, obviously, because that's a treasure chest for clothing. Ow. Ugh, really? Ah. Sorry if I'm just standing around being quiet. I'm just trying to figure out what to... I'm just trying to process stuff and... Hey! Alright. So... What if there's a secret behind that wall up in the top here? No, nothing here. Alright. There's supposed to be something sacred on this screen, huh? Interesting. Is that the treasure chest? No. 
Have I never been on the screen before? Huh. Interesting. So, I guess I'll push this over here. The treasure created by dwarven blacksmiths. The mechanism to it is hidden by the dwarves. Oh. I've read that before. And just didn't pay attention to it. Alright. Well then. Yeah, at least this puzzle is simple. Once you, you know, have a chat with dwarves. No, 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 no. Okay, I was terrified that I was going to knock me off the screen. Alright, so, I'm going to push this over here. And flip things over again. And hopefully this will be an anchor. Alright, smack that and jump away. Yes! Anchor. Hopefully it does what it did in La Mulana 1 and lets me sink in water and resist the current. You know, I could read its description to see if that is what it does. Anchor cut from special rock. Repurpose it as a weight to sink effortlessly in water and stand in the depths. Stand in the depth. Is that how I... Uh... Get that dace that's been taunting me in a... The Immortal Battlefield. Whoops. Ha! Hold on, platform. I'm just a tad busy with... Sweet! Although I'm not sure how useful it'll be in the long run. This combo looks like it's a tad faster than the... Uh, than the whip combo. Hey, guess what? I can stand in the water now. Water, you're a jerk! Wait. I want to go this way. No, 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 no. Why? Why would I do that? Alright, the anchor doesn't exactly blow everything wide open. But... It does enable me to do like three things. Ow. Wait, I can just resist that now. No, 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 no. Err. <sighs> Whatever. This is the Icefire Treetop, the frozen treetop born of the Valley of Chaos. Alright! Yes, I'm supposed to stop now, but... Ow. I 
bigger. You know, yeah, I'm just gonna jump off the top of this. C, D, E, F, G, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I write anything about G7? On my notes for the Immortal Battlefield. I did not. Wait, seven. Why did I write five on my notes for... Okay. Anyway. Since I'm here in the immortal battlefield. I'm gonna try and get that underwater dace while I can. Wait, you know... Whatever. Also, I'm learning that I should try and hit everything I can with stuff to see if I can break it. Okay. So I think I want to go one more to the left. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hit the days and now I'm gonna go over here, see if there's anything over here that wants my attention on the ground. No. Okay, yeah, it would have been faster to use the backside warp. It's so weird to me how there's so many areas in La Mulana 2 that are their own backside when there was only one area like that in the original La Mulana, the twin labyrinths. I suppose the Shrine of the Mother and the true Shrine of the Mother acted that way, sort of. Hmm. A spiral boat. Oh, hey. The spiral boat is somewhere in the immortal battlefield. Whoops. Whoop. Oh. Well, I'm not sure what to do next. Check out every place with water? Uh, join me next time when I... Hold on. Sorry, weights are kind of super important to me. I forgot to bring Phobos a crystal skull. Rather than all that nonsense about a... doing a thing next time, I'm gonna do that now. I was just checking the messages to see if I had any clues about what I could do next time.
because sometimes stuff gets buried in there. Huh. I did give you the skull. Interesting. Okay. Well then, I'm gonna go ahead and save and exit, then I'm gonna heal, then save and exit. There are seals that exist based on the number of crystal skulls I have, huh? And now I have, what, three still? Did you give me an app? A skull app. Hmm. There we go. Wait, Bounce Shot isn't doing anything for me. I don't think. Okay. So, what's that skull app gonna do for me? Extract data from crystal skulls into a text format. Launch, launch the app in the menus. Ooh. Words of Nebu. Ye of weak mind and dumb body. Who holds a skull in hand? Hear our mind, fulfill our will. Oh, though we are noble, why do we crumble so? Unable to come down to this land of the puny, we shall impress upon this world at least our will. Words of Moon Moon. On our ship Nibiru rests the master skull. Our great will shall be given to the bringer of the awakening. A will too great to be contained in such a puny, dumb body. Ye who hath gathered all twelve skulls, carry on our will. Words of Tutu. We found the puny ones here in this land, legless like the serpent with dumb bodies to match. Be thankful, puny ones. We shall allow you to serve us. Wow, these skulls are arrogant. Well, join me next time, as I have a new objective, Crystal Skulls. I'll, uh, see you then. Quitting this time for real. Yep. For real.